mass units greater than my m peak and uh, the total mass for the m plus 4 is uh, of the chlorines is 74 the total mass for the m plus 2 for the chlorines is 72 so it is two atomic mass units lighter than the m plus 4 so that's how we get our m peak m plus 4 peak and m plus 2 peak now let's do something using probabilities so if i have 2Cl35, I can simply say that the probability that this molecule will exist is 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 because the, the percentage abundance of Cl35 is 75%. So because we have 2 in this, we will have to multiply 3 by 4 with 3 by 4. So what we get over here is 9 by 16, the probability of getting this molecule in one of the fragments. The, uh, and then the probability of getting the m plus 4 is 1 by 4 times 1 by 4 because the percentage abundance of the Cl35 isotopes isotope is 25%. So there are two Cl37 isotopes and that's why we multiply uh, 1 by 4 by 1 by 4. So we get 1 by 16. And uh, if we, and then in this case we have uh, 3 by 5, 3 by, sorry, 3 by 4 into 1 by 4 because there is 1 Cl35 and 1 Cl37. So we have 175% multiplied by 125% uh, and then we have to multiply it by 2 because there are two possibilities for this molecule. Uh, these two possibilities. So when we do this, first we get 3 by 16 and this multiplied by 2, we get 6 by 16. So uh, that's what we get for our m plus 2 peak. So now if we want to calculate the ratio for m is to m plus, y, m plus 2 is to m plus 4. If you want to calculate the, uh, percent, uh, the ratio for their relative abundances, we get 9 by 16 is to 1 by 16 is to 6 by 16. Uh, sorry, uh, opposite because for m plus 2 it was 6 by 16. So I get 9 by 16 into 6 by 16 into is to 1 by 16. So these are the ratios. The six, uh, I have a 16 denominator in each case. So I can simply say this is 9 is to 6 is to 1. So these are the relative abundance, the ratio or ratios of the relative abundances of the m is to m plus 2 is to m plus 4 peaks. And this calculation does come in the papers. So you must know the method of how to do this by using probabilities. Uh, let's do the same for bromoethane, to, uh, di 1, 1 dibromoethane. This was 1, 1 dichloroethane. Now let's do the same for 1, 1 dibromoethane. So we have CH3, CH, Br2, and uh, this I can I, I want to write this as for my own understanding for my own draft work. I want to write this as CH3, CH, Br, Br. Uh, that will be uh, so let's take the first case in which both are the lighter, iso lighter isotopes of bromine so both are 17 br79 uh, then this gives me my m peak then i have ch3 ch br In this case, I have both heavier isotopes, so this gives me my m plus 4 peak because the difference between the molecular masses of these two molecules is 4 atomic mass units. Then I have CH3, CH, PR, PR. Isotope is the lighter isotope, 
second one behavior then I can also have 